I have no beer. Max, I have no beer. I'm drinking coffee. I should be drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. I'm drinking coffee. We had all the beer last night. We what have some leftovers today. <laughs> mm. I've got some questions here. A lot of them, no, those are not questions. This coffee made me really hyper. We got like black coffee made in Kentucky. These yep. guys, they roast them here. It's wonderful. It's a, it's a wacky state. Wacky beer laws, but we get all sorts of beer and we have no coffee laws. So you get the wackiest coffee. Wacky no coffee, co wacky <laughs> beer. Where are their coffee laws? Like, <laughs> sir, how many cups have you had? You've been, you're going like 700 miles an hour. Is it, Oh, I put the coffee right into the to the gas tank, officer. <laughs> How much coffee is it? Never mind. Yeah, around here, all the cars run on coffee, and all the people run on whiskey. coffee. Whiskey, yes. Whiskey-flavored Whis coffee. First question is from uh, Benji. <laughs> I can't believe a dog can actually type. Remember Benji the dog? Yes. Hey, Logan, I recently purchased parts for my first build. Uh, went with the AMD Phenom 2X4965, a Sapphire 7770C, ASRock 97 Mo Mobo, etc., etc. My question is... Should I go for Windows 8 or the Windows 7 that I'm more familiar with? P.S. Is there any overclocking to be done with the stock cooler that comes with the Phenom 2 or should I wait until I buy an aftermarket cooler? Uh, Max, give me that box of the Hyper 212 because it's like 20 something bucks right now. Find those things online. Anyway, so you can do some overclocking. Go with Windows 7 until Service Pack 1. It's uh, the tax are on top of it. It's tacky. And there's business cards that's full of business. The business card. This thing is, um, I mean, a really inexpensive, good way to go and you can get like a ridiculous overclock with this five six seven hundred megahertz at least that that cpu can be overclocked uh like like crazy so i highly recommend picking one of these up i can just keep buying these things i see them online for like oh it's on sale for 22 bucks order two and they just like in case i need it it's here because stock coolers i mean you can do a little bit of overclocking with the stock cooler i mean i wouldn't do crazy overclock but those things have a pretty high thermal threshold so have some fun there back to the original question windows 8 or windows 7 windows 7 um is a little slower than Windows 8, even in gaming. The desktop on Windows 8 is beautiful. I love the desktop experience. I like the new things that they've added. However, all the other junk that they've added, the whole tablet interface, uh, I've had some driver issues on there. And so as Windle, we've had to sign some of our own drivers, which is kind of goofy. And when you do that, it even, like after you sign your own drivers, on the bottom of Windows 8, in the bottom right-hand corner, it puts like, you know, development or experimental, whatever. It puts like a little notification that you're doing something wrong always on the screen, which really irritates me because I'm sort of a minimalist. Windows 8 just irritates the hell out of me. There's so many things that they've done wrong uh, with this for the desktop. If you're getting a tablet, go for it. Have fun. It's fine for a tablet. It's just a terrible way to go if you're a power user or a gamer, even though it's slightly faster. Once service back, one rolls around, and maybe they get their head out of their ass and fix some of these problems, I'll condone it. But right now, I do not condone Windows 8. Max, what do you think about it? I don't have time to play around things. I, I need a computer that works. You know, everything works. I've put in drivers. It needs to work. That's, yeah. That's what a graphic artist needs. I don't need nonsense. Well, right you're, now. you're a power user, so yeah. there's no reason for you to go to Windows 8 if you're a power user. No. I just yeah. tweak Windows the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a lot of cool things with Windows 8, but no. 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 All right. Next is from uh, Z Train, one of our uh, best forum members, one of our oldest forum members. What's up, Z Train? And I just want to put a link to this up there. Uh, he sent me a really awesome video that he made himself. It's just an informative video about tech coolers, thermoelectric coolers. Uh, you LTA. love these. Yeah, oh yeah, LTA all day. Is a higher resistance. Stick something that is a lower resistance underneath it. We have higher resistance, lower resistance, and you keep doing this and you basically build a three dimensional grid out of it. So the actual thermoelectric cooler look something like this. If you guys are curious about Peltier, if you want to do your own Peltier, uh, figure out how thermoelectric cooling works, I highly recommend that you guys check out this video. It's really, really well done. So I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, check out Z-Train's video. Um, Z-Train, dude, thanks a lot for making that. It's like, I was thinking about making one myself, but you were like far beyond what I could have done, man. Okay, next is from Matthew. Hey, Logan, I know that you're an avid Redditor. Why Reddit? Is it the uh, community content uh, and or the pornography? What do you think of the current state of uh, affairs on Reddit and the direction of the community slash website as a whole? Keep up the good work, Matthew. All right, so um, I mean, I would not call myself an avid Reddit Redditor. What, what would you call me as far as Reddit goes? Uh, just a light Reddit user because you're on there sometimes, but... On my, on my phone, it's like... Yeah, you get most of our content from 
me and a few other people were like, look at this article, look at yeah. this article, look at this subreddit, look what they put there. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's one thing that's nice uh, about the position that I'm in, which is sitting down, I don't know, um, because people send me like Reddit stuff all the time. So I get like, hey, it's like I get all the stuff filtered to me, like, hey, check out all this stuff. Uh, I, I keep away from all the memes. I have a very tailored experience when I'm on, uh, you know, I'd really, really get rid of all the stupid memes. I, I, I hated to do that, but it was taking up all my time. So most of the memes are gone. I still do metal memes and Skyrim memes. I, I like those, but but very rarely. I'm mostly just like the technology. I've got like mountain climbing on there. Um, and I, I don't look at it at all for pornography. I mean, I know there's lots of butts on there and stuff, but... You have a diet Reddit experience. Yeah, I've got like a really limited the tailored... The one-calorie version of Reddit. Exactly. Uh, but that's something I do like about Reddit. I think it's interesting that um, there's a lot of information freely flowing on there. I'm surprised people haven't tried to shut it down yet because there's just so much information that's freely flowing everything from porn to even some child porn have popped up on there a few times i know they finally shut that down um you know we met the guys from reddit and that was really cool we met alexis uh we met zach zach really really helped us out a lot um we met him locally at uh they were in lexington at west, west six brewery we went down there uh, alexis bought me a beer bears yes we got some bears b-w-e-r-r-u-n -R yeah we ran up to lexington so no alexis bought me a beer and they they were actually really really helpful uh he told me he, he said that you know websites they don't happen by you know one person. He goes, big websites, you need a couple guys. You got the crazy guy, you got the smart guy, you got just a few guys, and you get them together, and that's how you make a website. You know, crazy girls, crazy guys, and you do it. Um, and then Zach, we sat down and talked to him about marketing because we're starting to get some emails from marketers, and, and Zach had some really, really um, nice things to say and also some really um, interesting ways to look at it. He said, listen, he does a lot of parkour, and he was like, listen, dude, Red Bull called me, and they're like, we're going to give you a ton of money. And he looked at what Red Bull was offering them, and he was like, dude, we're like talking about health a lot. We're you know healthy people, and the stuff that you guys put into your drink does not coincide with what I want my, for my viewers, so I don't care about your money. Keep your money. Go screw yourself. And that was the end of it. So they kind of gave me this um, you know, idea that the sponsorship is okay as long as it coincides with the needs of the audience. And it's all about the audience, and if it doesn't benefit the audience, tell them to go screw themselves. And a lot of times you'll have to be like, hey, audience, listen, uh, we're going to take sponsorship from this company and it's going to suck because they're gonna, we're going to have to do a commercial, you know, like during our thing, we'll play, you know, like a little check out this thing. But at the same time, we're going to be able to hire a new thing and we'll be able to buy a crane and a helicopter. So bouncy house. Yes, we'll buy a bounce house. We'll fit it into a room. We'll just make a bounce house. Anyway, so I think the guys behind Reddit are really cool. And um, I mean, the community, it's. I just read it. I mean, it's a freaking one of the biggest websites in the world right now. I mean, anything bad about it, I guess. There's a lot of morons on there, but there's a lot of morons on any big website. So it's just it's a decent way to deal with the Internet. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on there. I use it a lot daily. I'm there. All right, next question is from Marlo, a.k.a. Devish. Hey, Logan, don't get me wrong, but every time you review some headset or mouse, I just want to jump in a plane from Germany, your place, and rip off your beard hair one by one painfully slow. Why? You're wasting your time. Stop that review mainstream trash and use your potential you deliver some high-end quality content in the tech show the tech show it sounds funny when you say the tech show uh, something most of your followers haven't seen before especially on youtube that's the reason why you are getting more and more attention day by day please continue focusing on real tech topics your investigations your opinion go on kickstarter or elsewhere grab some money and become independent people are waiting for this kind of information source balls this guy's angry. You've got one of the best tech shows on the web. Now get that awesome window guy. Great background information in every freaking sentence spoken. Next to you in front of the camera and make us proud. Best regards from Germany, Marlo aka Devish. I understand. You don't want to see any of the reviews. Like, you know, this is a $11 optical mouse and uh, all that stuff. You don't want to see any of that. Well, let me say the tell you the, the counter to that argument. Um, and yes, I, I agree that I think that the unbiased, completely wild, just news videos, opinions, and all that kind of stuff is very very relevant and is very important and that's really the direction that i want the community to go in however a lot of people discover us because of the reviews and it's really a tool to grow our community like for instance we did a review on an asus laptop right the zenbook that thing's got like seven hundred eighty thousand hits and so many people have watched that video and then sent me emails and like dude i watched that video but now i'm totally hooked on the tech and i watch all the other stuff and i'm a member of your forum so that's a huge way to bring in people hot items like that uh, and also who would you rather have reviewing your stuff? Like some Duplo, some moronic Duplo, or us? Like, really? So, I know it takes time out of our schedule, and time out, it does take a lot of time, like outlining the stuff, 
but it's a really a tool to grow our audience. And the more people we have, the more money will be generated through watching videos and that sort of thing. If you guys keep off your ad block, thank you so much for doing that. You guys are awesome for taking off ad block, by the way. Um, but that is really how we'll become more independent by growing the community. So right now it's a tool to grow the community. Once we get to the point where we're like just generating so much money that it doesn't even matter anymore and I can hire a couple people to help me, that would be ideal. In the future, we'll be doing more, more newsy content, I'm sure. And we'll just more content in general is the key. So as we get bigger, we'll hire more people, do more content. All right, next question is from Andres. What kind of shampoo do you use? I do not use shampoo, sir. There's no sense in putting soap in your hair. That's stupidity. It's all marketing nonsense. Uh, what I do recommend is like Dr. Bronner's. That's what I use. It's like an all-purpose soap. You know, it's got like, I don't know, what does it have in there, Max? It's just hemp soap. Yeah. It's 100% natural. There's no oils that will damage your scalp. It makes your hair fluffy. One thing that I will recommend is, you know, if you've got, you know, just regular hair, just give it a couple weeks. It'll adjust to not, you know, like regular scrubbing with soap. Of course, rinse it out with water. If you're going to go to the gym and it's going to get sweaty and stuff, use vinegar. You're going to smell like a fucking salad, but use vinegar. Your hair will love you. Yes, I'm serious. Just a little bit of vinegar and just rub it through your hair. You know, freaking head, toss salad on your head. It'd be great. You know, just walk around and, and maybe, maybe you know, there. what you know, there's a lot. There's actually a lot of uh, people out there who have... Uh, Salad fetishes. How about it? You'd be like, hanging out and like there'll be somebody on the train and be like, Oh, your hair. Oh, God. Oh, man. just want to gnaw on your fucking scalp. Do it. Yes. Um, nom, 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 <laughs> Come nom. over and be like, like, it happened to me once. You know, I, you, I was at PAX and I was just sitting there on an escalator. And as I'm going up the escalator, someone leans over from the other side as they're going up and sticks their tongue out and just like licked up the side of my head. And they were like, I look over and they're like, I love your salad head. This will happen to you too, I, I promise, on Jesus' name. When did we get into talking about fancifying ourselves and being all frou-frou, which I'm fine with, but I don't know. You call vinegar in your head frou-frou? Yeah, because it's high tech, you know, you're thinking advanced. You're thinking way <laughs> back how people used to be. Before all this marketing happened and made them do stupid things. Put this unknown chemical in your head. Yes. Yes. Next question is from Twitch. Every video I've seen recently, there's always some new beers you guys are drinking. My question is, what are your current favorites or uh, new that you found that you enjoy? Also, I hope everything continues to go well with RTWTS. Uh, I still come on to browse the forums every now and then, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll put the rest of it on the screen. Uh, keep up the good work with everything and hope you guys have a good winter solstice. Good winter solstice for you too, Twitch. Uh, good to see you. Rock on. Okay, let me uh, let's start with some beers. Max, you go first. Uh, last night we had the Three Floyds Moloko Milk Stout, and that is smooth. It's a little okay. bit carbonated for a milk stout, but actually, yeah, this thing was good. It almost it was almost as malty as an imperial stout. It was it's like delicious. It was, it, this was good. Uh, I'll say Three Floyds is officially my favorite brewery. They have the top rated beers in in the country. Like uh, most of them, yeah. It's like like the, the best imperial stouts. They've got like the best. Uh, Imperial IPA, like in history, it's it just blows Dogfish out of the water. Just like their Dogfish. Scottish ale is just ridiculous. Yeah, Robert yeah. de Bruce. Robert de Bruce, Scottish ale. It was delicious. It was actually great for chivalry. Um, but I do like their darker beers and uh, their hoppy beers. They also made an Amon Amarth. It's like an Imperial Porter. It's and Amon Amarth actually stopped by Indiana to hang out with these guys at Three Floyds and make the beer. That one's pretty good. It's not as good as their stout, but it's freaking good. They make I mean, so many good beers. Also, you got brands like Founders. Um, if you want some like Belgian stuff, if you like the sweeter stuff, I do like that. Like the Trappist uh, Rockfort uh, Number Ten, Number Eight. The Number Ten is like a Belgian quad, and that thing is just thick and dark and fruity. The aroma is like uh, current and, and it's beautiful. It's fancy. Yes. Um, it's, it's a beer you could drink with your pinky up. I mean, I I personally stick to pub yep. like from Witchwood Brewery or. Uh, my Hop goblin and stuff. Hop goblin, but then I could go with the old speckle hen, which I drink like water, which I shouldn't. <laughs> that stuff's too much like water for me. I'm like, oh, it's so smooth. Yep. Six pack later, too smooth. Yep. Two more that I'm going to recommend. Uh, this one's expensive. If you, ever, if you ever see Founders Devil Dancer, it's one of the um, highest as far as the bitter rating, like the IBUs are way up there. Check out Founders Devil Dancer. It's like really bitter, really hoppy, but it's kind of balanced. It's weird. It's wild. And my favorite beer is Victory Storm King. I cannot find anything that I like more. It's a really, really hoppy imperial stout and i don't like much else from the victory company i just love storm king it's if you like imperial stouts and you like hops it's almost like a black ipa but it's just as thick as syrup it's ridiculous so yeah a little little beer recommendation there 
for you guys. Uh, the list can go on and on, but we'll just say the ones that we were r recently drinking. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn into beer snobs if we're not careful. Well, I, I drink cider too, but that's here and there. What's your favorite cider? Currently, the pumpkin cider. Everybody says the pumpkin cider from uh, Woodchuck isn't as good as last year, but it's like a soda. An 8% yeah. soda. And I'm like, oh, this is so good. And a couple, couple of those later, and then the video games, I'm screaming about nonsense and Godzilla. <laughs> Oh, you and Kane can have your ciders. They're too much for me. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for the questions. Uh, we got some more videos coming up soon. I got a lot more questions here, so I'm going to make another video right now. But this is a long enough video, so let's let's cut and do another one. Inbox at techsyndicate.com. Oh, we're going to give away a 7970. Right now, I'm going to give it away. I swear to God. 7970. I've uh, used this thing for quite a while. I would not have taken it out of my system, but it doesn't really work with XSplit for streaming. But it works with everything else, and it's freaking fast. It runs warm. But it's fast, and it doesn't go over the thermal threshold. So I totally uh, am happy to give away the Diamond Radeon 7970 stock clocked. You can easily overclock that to a gigahertz. And uh, the way you enter, the, the link is in the description. You're going to have to go to uh, our website and just fill in a form. But this is for members of our website only. Only. That's it. you got to be a member of Tech Syndicate, or I'll come to your house and fill your pants with fish and then um, throw you in the water and uh, knock you out. And I'll make the fish really stimulated so they swim. And then they'll carry you out to sea. How about it? See you guys next time.